What's good everybody? So today I'm going to show you guys how you can color correct every single one of your projects. It can work on the videos, visualizers, or even pictures. So with no further ado, let's get into it. So first thing first, we're going to open After Effects. And then what I'm going to do is simply import a PSD since I'm going to create a scene real quick. So I'm going to create a quick visualizer. So what I'm going to do is simply convert all of the layers into a 3D layer. Just like that. Now I'm going to put it in two views mode to have a better overall look of my project. Now I'm going to select my background and I'm going to push it all the way to the back like that. Now I'm going to have to scale it up so it can fill up the frame. So I'm simply going to click on S and scale it up like that. And then what I'm going to do is simply select the crowd and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push them backwards and I'm simply going to click on S to scale them up. Now how to, now how to, now how to. Now you can simply right click on there and click on create a 3D camera and click OK. This is going to give it this to you. And if it's tweaking like this, just put it at a classic mode and simply fix it so everything is in frame. But as you can see, you're going to have to make some little adjustments. So just scale everything back up. So I'm going to simply select the crowd. I'm going to scale it with the S shortcut. And I'm going to do the same with the background. Select it, click on S and scale it up. That's perfect. And now what you can do is simply start animating. So you can simply select your 3D camera, click on P and play around with the position. But I think this is way too long to set up a visualizer. There's a better way. So simply re-add your project, click on it, and simply use 3D5 Pro. Click on this one button, play around with your camera right there, scale up your background, select the crowd, scale it up a little bit, and simply add the repertoire effect on it by clicking on this button. And now you got your old animation that you can simply add a shake on it. And that was it. It simply saved me like five minutes of my time. Really useful. If you're interested, the link will be in my description. But now I'm simply gonna start animating the 3 camera and I'll get back to you boys once this is done. So now what I'm gonna do is simply start color correcting. So I wanna add some brightness and contrast to my scene. So just search for brightness and contrast. Put the brightness up and the contrast up like this. It's already looking better. Now what I'm gonna do is simply add a vignette effect. So I'm simply gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna put it above the brightness and contrast effect. So the next thing I'm gonna add is a grain effect. So just look up for grain, put it inside of your scene. Now change the preview mode to final output. This will make it so the grain is in the entirety of your scene. Now what I'm gonna do is simply add the glow effect. So I'm simply gonna select it and just adjust it to your liking. Okay, like so. So now what I'm going to do is simply add a curve effect. So search for a curve, put it inside of your composition. And as you can see, you can select the parts that needs to be darker or lighter. And I'm going to keep it like this because I like it. And now you can polish it. And as you can see, it's not the best result in the world. And it took us a bunch of time to make. There is another way to make it faster. So what you're going to have to do is simply create a new adjustment layer and search for visual enhancement. This is a completely free After Effects preset that I'm going to give you guys and I think it will save you a bunch of time. And as you can see, everything looks better. You can also see the effects that I use so you can modify anything that you want in this color correction. So you can cut this preset for free simply by clicking on the link on my, my description down below. Now I'm going to test it with a video. So as you can see, I just put it in a video right there. Now I'm going to scale it up so you can fill up the frame. And instead of adding an adjustment layer, I'm simply going to put it right into the video. So as you can see, there is a huge difference. The quality even looks higher. Uh, the glow effects looks pretty decent for a preset that uses no plugins. Simply going to show you the difference between my preset and without it. This is actually insane. And if you think there's too much glow going on, this normal in bright scenes, what you can do is simply tone it down a little bit. So you just scroll it down until you see the glow effect and you can simply play around with the setting to put it down and before i continue the video i just wanted to say that a lot of a lot of you guys were not subscribed to my youtube channel so if you like this type of content and if you like learning on how to edit things don't hesitate to subscribe and like this video it truly really supports me a lot and i appreciate you guys so i'm simply gonna save this project up to so not save it this is a good reflex to have by the way always click on ctrl s to not lose any projects that you're working on the video is finally over i hope you guys like the video i hope it was helpful if it was don't hesitate to leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel and see you guys in another video